the 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 dramatic paradoxical perverse effect of anti-doping today is that because of the limits of testing technology and testing density we can't go much further than with 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 worry about rules and things like that maybe now in london they're going to burst into the rooms in the middle of the night to look for syringes and things like that we, we can't go much further than these type of things in spite of that we know we know the doping continues the numbers are one to two percent uh, adverse findings in wada over the last 10 years and there's nothing that is showing any change and the other thing is that um, uh, other research uh, in, in, in human sciences, for example, using all kinds of sophisticated ways of getting an idea of what the real prevalence is, rather show seven, eight, nine percent. What, what does that mean? It means that it is likely that among the winners on the podium are potentially the best cheaters. And, and that's, that's very perverse, because the real objective of anti-doping is the celebration of the ideal phenotype and genotype of the human being uh, and, and doping doesn't fit in that and, and, and so now we have created a situation where unfortunately you, you're never sure even if somebody has been tested 150 times in all kinds of moments of, uh, of his uh, competition or outside competition life you can't be sure maybe he is just very clever you can get away with well-dosed EPO erythropoietin to um, make some more red cells if you do in the right way and if you know, of course, how to to um, to hide uh, your your behavior from everybody around you. It's not simple. It's very difficult. But and, and there's good reason to believe this. Yes, from time to time, this is probably happening. And that's very dramatic. That's awful. It means that athletes at the top are really under tremendous double pressure. From one side, they know that perhaps the other guy is, you know, maybe cheating a little bit or you're not sure. Damn, and I, I want to be there too. And always this, this question, shall I, shall I not, shall I, shall I not? It's very, very difficult. And on the other side, of course, um, the, um, the, the pressure of anti-doping that is also very awful with the real potential of being accused while well, you, you were not doping. A false uh, positive is a, is a real possibility. The more and more we test, the likelier, just because of statistics, that one day we'll accuse somebody who is a very good athlete um, uh, w without him being um, doped intentionally. And then, of course, there's three missed tests. It happens from time to time. And among those are perhaps the guys who try to really be on the border and try to escape because they're doing maybe not uh, things really according to the rules, but probably also a few from time to time who are just, yeah, badly organized. I mean, think about it. If I would have to <laughs> tell uh, my dean three months in advance where I would be uh, every day of the year at six o'clock in the morning, I mean, I would get crazy. And my agenda is changing all the time. Uh, I was supposed to be with my Ministry of Health at 2 o'clock. Well, he, just one hour before, he phoned me, no, it won't happen. So I'm here in the office. I, imagine that I had told my dean that I would be at... I mean, you mm -hmm. see, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's quite dramatic. We, we've come to a situation where we can't exclude that the dopers are still winning. And we even have people that are really trying very hard to play the, the, the game according to the rules, who may be accused from behavior which has really nothing to do with, with doping behavior. It's, it's, I think it's, it's very dramatic. And it won't get better. It's a dilemma. Unsolvable. It's it's exactly it's an unsolvable dilemma. So this is the way society organizes itself by having rules that the majority of the people will um, will uh, obey to, but of course in the margins from time to time people uh, do not keep to the rules. But we can live with that. That's okay. That's acceptable. Um, in sports, it becomes a little bit difficult with doping because, uh, as I said, doping has this perverse effect of. It's not the margins where doping happens, it's at the top, and, and that's what we, of course, we don't want.